<laughs> hey, what is going on, crypto people? Happy Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to each and every one of you. Whoa, what the world's going on right now? John Deaton. <laughs> John Deaton is running for office in the state of Massachusetts. He's going up against Senator Elizabeth Warren. How blessed are we? How blessed are we to get an opportunity to get this person, Elizabeth Warren, out of office? A vote for John is saying yes to the digital asset space for sure. But it is also saying yes to the American people. You understand? It's an opportunity for us to say, no, 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 no. You work for us. We don't work for you. And John gets that. John gets serving his country. I tell you what, if there was ever a time for me to get this dude on the channel, it is now. We have a lot of things in common. We're both inner city kids. We both got the same, the best haircut any man could have. <laughs> and we birth, both, both, both served our country. In fact, we both have Massachusetts ties. I used to hang out in Mass. I used to hang out in Roxbury with a little friend of mine, you, you know, back in the day, running, if you know what I'm saying. So this is some good stuff. And if there was ever, ever a time to have John on, probably now that he's doing this, I'm excited about that. Really excited to get a chance uh, to talk to him for sure. So Listen, guys, this is your XRP Ripple daily news in around zero to 10 minutes. I think that the Wolf of All Streets uh, probably shared the, boast, the best post on X. This is what he said in reference to John Deaton running. He said, this is it. This is our moment. American and crypto hero, John Deaton. And this is so important to get that. American and crypto hero. John Deaton is running against Senator Warren for her seat, for her Senate seat in Massachusetts. She is the final boss for the crypto industry. John must win. America needs him. Our industry needs him. Retweet, share, and support. It's massive. Absolutely massive because, again, we got to get more people in office who understand that they are working for us. They, they are here to serve. And we don't have an, enough of that in Congress. Unfortunately, most of the people think that we are beholden. Most of the people in Congress over there think that we work for them. We have to change that. We have to change that. So, look, what are you going to do about it is, is going to be my real big question to you in the community. Are you going to feel help, helpless? Are you going to take the helpless victim approach? And then there's nothing that you can do. Are you going to take the defeatist attitude approach and say, Senator Elizabeth Warren is just too big, pockets too deep? Or are you going to fight for your right as an American? Are you going to fight for your right to have a Congress that serves you? We got to snatch that back. It's been twisted for far too long. And it starts with this. And I got to, here's another thing that I'm going to tell you. We get John in office collectively. Others are going to pay it to other Congress. People are going to pay attention to the power that is the digital asset space industry. You understand? This is massive. In a lot of ways, he's up for a big fight. Sure. You know, the, the politics thing is, 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 ugh. I applaud his courage for wanting to, to change. And the only, only way to change it is to go out there and fight and see what's good. See what's good and see what ain't so good. But this is your chance. This is your chance to make a difference, to say that you, you put up a fight, that you made an effort to help, to take back this whole Congress thinking that we're working for them idea. 
This is your chance to do it. What are you going to do about it is my question to you. Let's take a listen to John's video here on YouTube. you got a YouTube channel. You should go subscribe for sure. You know, he's got to grow his social media presence for sure. Here's the video. No fear, never give up. Here's from here's John. I'm hoping this is on, since this is on YouTube, I should be good. We'll see. Highland Park, Detroit. I grew up in real poverty in a dangerous, violent neighborhood. I got beat up, but I fought back. I learned life's lessons, and my motto became no fear and never give up. My mom, my hero, a single mom on welfare and food stamps who worked as many jobs as she could just to put food on the table. Most of the times, it was just beans and cornbread, but she did her best. They called me white trash, but I made it out. It wasn't easy. I was the only one in my family to graduate high school. I worked my way through college and New England School of Law, living in Roxbury. I joined the Marines, fought addiction, cancer, and mountains of debt. No fear, and I will never give up. After law school, I got married, became the proud father of three amazing daughters and built the law practice. I fought for the little guy. I took on the greedy corporations and the heartless insurance companies, and I won. I took on the Washington insiders, and I won. I am running for U.S. Senate to continue my life's mission to shake things up for the people who need it most. Take on the drug and insurance companies for better, more accessible health care. Instead of just pointing the fingers at each other, actually work to solve the migrant crisis. Mm. Fight inflation that's crushing working families. Work for better opportunities for children. Take on Washington corruption and the division that's killing this country. We need term limits for these career politicians who have simply forgotten who elected them. Elizabeth Warren, well, she promised to be a champion for those in need. Instead, she gives lectures and plays politics and gets nothing done for Massachusetts. I will work day and night to make a difference in your life. Mm. I know your life struggles because I've lived them. I know your dreams and your hopes for you and your family because I share them. I will fight for what is right because I have no fear and I will never give up. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta still love it. This is really, really cool. And uh, I'm really, I know I'm going to do my part big time, big time to help make this happen. Right? right? The idea is to think about the win. Right. Don't focus on the possible L. Focus on the possible win. What would that look like for you and I to get a pro-American and a pro-crypto person? And more importantly, to get an anti-freaking American and anti-crypto person out of Congress. We don't need that kind of person serving this country. So this is powerful. This is where you can go. It's John Deaton for Senate.com and you can donate. You can take perhaps some of that dirty, nasty fear that you might have <laughs> and donate here because he's going to need some stuff. He's going to need a war chest without question, without question. I'm real curious to see about the bigger players in crypto and what are they going to do? It's going to be real interesting to see what that's going to look like from the likes of Ripple, from the likes of Coinbase. I don't know, maybe by way of the super PAC, right? There's some, apparently there's some super PAC going on as well. We'll see. We'll see if people really willing, really, really willing to put their money where their vote lies. We'll see to put their vote where their um, generational wealth lies. We'll see. I'm counting on you guys. I know in the Crypto Seasons fam, that will be no problem because we get it. Again, pro-American and pro-crypto. It's massive. This is a real dude. You could you could just you could tell that he's a he's a real dude, right? So massively important. So massively 
important. He's got, he's got, for me, he got the background that's necessary. I think it's, it's important to know, you know, the, the ills in this country, if you will. I think it's important. And then didn't make excuses, didn't make excuses, took the same route I took from the inner city of Brooklyn, it went to the military, right? Took the same route, figured out a career, made some stuff happen, right? Worked his way through, co look, worked his way through Congress and then did good. Came an attorney, both in a law office, fought the bad guys, the people that would look to leverage the American people. He fought them. Look, you got all of it. Got a great haircut as well. So here's your opportunity to do that. I will do this when I come back um, for the gym. For shout out to John for getting this done. How cool would it be to know a guy in, in, the, in Congress <laughs> and have some things in common with that person in Congress? It's one thing. It's one thing to know someone in Congress, but it's another one to have the foundational um, things in common like pro-American and, and, and this pro-crypto thing. How cool would that be? How cool would it be to have a congressperson, a senator that's approachable? It's pretty cool. So I hope you guys will take advantage of that. Listen, this is your XRP Ripple Daily News in around zero to 10 minutes. I hope that it has been of value to you. If it has, do me a favor, hit that like button. It's the greatest way to help the channel. And if you've been hanging out watching the Crypto Siege, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to ring that notification bell, baby, so you know whenever we go live or whenever we upload a video. I'm going to end this one like I do all my videos and remind you guys of this, that old money doesn't want you to win. But that's okay, though, because you and I, we're already winning. And I would ask you to consider this, perhaps ponder the idea or notion of living your life permissionless. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya. Bye.